Hey y'all, my name is Anna. Welcome to my channel. And today is my sixth update for my Rolling 10 eyeshadow pan. If you're new here, this is a project where I choose 10 eyeshadows to work on and to hit a goal on, whether it be hit pan, finish up, or just whatever I choose. And then once I hit that goal, I roll in another eyeshadow and I'm always working on 10 at a time. I don't know what this is doing, but now, as of last month, six of my 10 eyeshadows were in this e.l.f. palette that I have made my own palette, basically. None of the original shades are in here, it's just a bunch of Frankens and um, represses, and I like it because it's very compact and just nice travel packaging. Before I go into detail about how much I used each shade, let's show a before and after picture from last month to this month of this palette. So as you can see, there's not a ton of changes, however, there is subtle progress as well as a shade that I finished. Starting with this first shade, I kind of made a goal to finish it last month and that didn't <laughs> happen. Um, I basically hit side pan, but I only used this three times, so it's not surprising that I didn't finish it. I did make visual progress. Um, I'm thinking I might want to repress it because it's getting just difficult to use and I feel like I'll reach for it more if it's repressed. Moving on to this gold shade, my goal was to like use up one of these sides and that also didn't happen. Um, I used it four times, one of those days being today on the inner part of my lid and yeah it's just been slower progress that I've been hoping. Um, I did not wear a ton of eyeshadow this month barely any for like a solid two weeks. I didn't really wear much makeup other than like concealer, maybe blush, maybe mascara. Like, <laughs> So that's the progress this month is kind of sad. But that's kind of been a theme recently. <laughs> Moving on to this purple Franken shade. I used it once. You probably can't really see any difference. But hey, I used it once. This rose gold shade has been probably the shade that's been having the least amount of progress in this entire project. However, this past month I used it three times. You might be thinking, that's not that much, but it's pretty significant for this shade for me. Um, today I actually used it as a blush topper, and I really liked that. Um, I tried it yesterday like that when I used it on my eyes on top of um, this purpley blue shade and it made like a silver look. I actually hit side pan. Um, so now that I know I like it as a blush topper, that has been a technique that I've been doing a lot where I put on my blush, blush topper and sometimes a highlight depending on how I feel. Um, but I've been really liking that technique and I think now that I know I like it like this, then I will get a lot more use out of it than I have been because it's just not my favorite color for my eyes. It's not a bad color, it's just not something I reach for for some reason. Now the next shade in this palette is Gone. I had a tiny bit of this green left last month and I used it three times and I used it up. I really like that Franken green shade, however, I am glad I finished it because I have a palette with green shades that's quite new as well as I have other Franken greens and I can also make more Franken green so like I'm not missing it because I can always make something similar. This blurple shade, I guess you could call it, at first I thought there wouldn't be any progress, but there actually is a deeper dip, so that makes me happy. I used it three times. Um, yeah, I just don't use a ton of it when I use it just because it's darker and it's like a blue-purple. And I don't- I like color, but it's- it can be a lot, so, um, yeah. I'm just glad that there's visual progress on that. Now this next palette is a quad by Wet n Wild, and three of the shades are the original shades in the palette, and one of them I repressed into an empty spot. I will show what it looked like last month compared to this month. As you can see, I made pretty good progress, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Considering I didn't wear eyeshadow that much, I feel like it's pretty decent. Um, I used this 
seven times. I feel like I used it more though. I, <laughs> I might have marked it wrong because I could have sworn I used it way more than seven times. Some of those times I used it on the eyes and a cheek. Actually, this is what started me. Um, this is the shadow that started getting me into blush topper because it's a bit too deep for a highlight, but I was to hit pan on this one. I definitely did. And I'm thinking I could finish this up next month if I really focus on it. Um, my goal is to just make visual progress, I believe, on this one. And I definitely, I definitely did. I'm going to say that again, apparently. Um, I hit pan, I guess you could say again, in this like ridge part as well as below it. It's kind of a weird shape of pan when I repressed it. Um, but yeah, I've definitely made significant progress. I've used this one four times. Um, yeah, I feel like I can get this done soonish. This one, my goal was to kind of make it into a square. Um, I almost did that. I, I worked on the ends, kind of making it more of a rectangle. Um, used it three times. Not that much, but considering how little I wore eyeshadow this past month, I feel like this progress is pretty decent. Now this next shade is the only shade left in a number seven trio that no longer exists and they don't sell it. Um, however, it's the oldest makeup item in my entire collection, so I want to finish it before the end of the year and I will show picture of last month compared to this month. So as you can see, there's a little bit of progress. I expanded the pan, but not by a ton, but I only used it three times, so I feel like it's still pretty decent. I've actually kind of hit pan in this corner I think because it's crumbled a bit in the corner. I didn't really, I don't really put my brush in that corner, but yeah, it has been crumbling a tiny bit from that corner for some reason, and I've been trying to save the product, but it's not really working. Um, yeah, I use this in that silvery look, and I do really like it as a neutral. I use it in my crease, even though it's a shimmer, it's not super shimmery so I feel like it works and I'm not afraid of putting shimmer in the crease. So since I finished this green shade I have to roll in a new shade and I'm going to choose this guy right next to him. It's also a green. Um, funny story actually I created my own Franken palette. Um, only a few of the shades are left from what I did last summer and I used quite a bit of each of the shades. However, this one never really got used after I made it. Don't know why, I just didn't. Um, and it actually has quite a bit of pan. Some of them I didn't make a ton. This one I did and um, hasn't really been touched. As you can see, it's kind of a pastel green. What's actually funny is that the other day I was wanting a pastel green and I was like, oh, I had no pastel greens in my collection. And then I realized I literally do. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I thought this would be a good time. Now that it's spring, summertime, I think this lighter shade will be really nice. Um, and it's really pretty and it goes with some spring, summer outfits that I have. My goal is not to finish it. Um, I just want to hit pan because, uh, yeah, it hasn't really been used a ton. Um, I don't want to just focus on one spot. I like to make the dip in the entire thing so like put my brush kind of all everywhere and then hit pan I don't want to just dig a hole as I, I want to make significant use so now that you have seen my progress it's time for me to set goals for next month um I want to repress these three shades just in the center I find that it'll be easier to reach and I think I'll be able to reach for them more or just want to reach for them more um I will put a picture at the end of the video of what this palette looks like repressed because I plan on doing that soon after this and yeah. With that in mind, I want to finish this by next month, actually finish it unlike last month where I said I would and I didn't. Um, I would like to actually clear out this side part and start on this side as well. I just want to get it so eventually it's just flat up here instead of this weird shape, but um, one day, one day, right? And 
yeah, I just want to make significant use once I repress these, especially this one. I'm thinking I can really use this rose gold. And I just want to make visual progress. Like this past month, I've been able to see the, the dip changing. So I want to just continue making visual progress each month. And um, I want to start working on this. For this palette, I want to finish this shade by using it as an eyeshadow and a blush topper. And that's why I really, I'm hoping I can finish this early-ish on so that I can start working on that rose gold shade more. This one, maybe I want to use like a third of it. I would say half, but I, I don't believe in myself that much. <laughs> and this one, I'd like to clear out the space in between these two ridges, um, just so that it's just the top and bottom. I just want to like, it's pretty thin there. I'd like to clear out this center spot. And as for this shade, I'd just like to keep on working on it. I think I want to expand the pan towards this side because it's thinner. So yeah, if I can expand the pan closer towards this edge, that would be nice as well. So that is everything for this update. Um, not a super eventful update, but at least I had one finished, even if it was a super easy shade to finish because I had barely any left. But regardless, I feel like I'm doing decent considering everything going on and this past week I've been wearing a lot more eyeshadow and makeup in general so I'm hoping that that momentum will keep up and that it will stay inspired and creative. I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know if you are doing any sort of eyeshadow project pan or any project pan. I'd love to go see what you're doing and I hope that you have an amazing day. Bye!